finally, finally, finally give you guys this review on this OMG Queen hair. So this is the hair that was in my OMG Queen unboxing video. Look at it. can straighten and then while I straighten just like a little pieces in the front so you guys can see I'm going to talk to you briefly about it. So I'm straightening it with my Remington flat iron and I put it on to 400. Yeah. So I rated this hair a 7 out of 10. Now the reason I rated a 7 out of 10 is I'm going to talk about the pros and I'm going to talk about the cons. The pros is that this hair can take color. This is not bleach. If you guys saw my unboxing video, I saw that I showed you guys that I was gonna do the peak mill thing, and all I did was put peroxide on it, 40 volume developer, and lay it, let it stay on it all night, and then um, I bleached the knot. You can't really tell, but I'm gonna put a clip in here of me bleaching the knots when it was still black. You can see like the knots bleach really nicely. It takes color, and then like the curls get it drop. After the color was in it. Now I'm gonna tell you something I do not like about this hair. When I got the wig, it came with four combs, one in the middle here, one on the sides, and one in the back. This is the only one I actually had. This is the only clip right here that I kept in my head because the clip here, I braid up my hair under, I put it in cornrows, so it was irritating here and it was irritating here. I felt like I would have had three wall spots. So I cut those clips out and I kept the clip in the back. That's one thing I didn't like. I don't like the clips in the middle. I always cut them out. Two, um, this hair makes in the back all the time. I don't know if you can see. This is not a curl. This is just like dry baggage. Whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it dry baggage. And I went in the water with this hair. I just came back from a little mini weekend getaway. Went to Ocean City. And then when I got back, to my hotel room, I was I took off my wig and I was brushing it out. I had a lot of naping in the back, and then it was really hard for me to untangle. It's a flat iron top now. And it was really hard for me to untangle. So yeah. this hair, I straightened it before too. I just want to show you guys that it can straighten. Don't be like me, the hair's a little wet. And that's it. If any of you guys follow me on Snap, when I wore it straight back in like June, it was really, really nice and straight. So good. What else I want to tell you guys about this hair? Um, oh, let's talk about the frontal. So it's a 360 frontal. But, I feel like they could have did better on the frontal. When I got it, it was pre-plucked, but you know, I plucked it so more, you know, so I could get these popping baby hairs. And I'm not really one of those girls that do the OD baby hairs, just a little bit. I showed, I told you guys that in the um, edge control video, that I'm not really one of those girls that's too much into those baby hairs and stuff like that. But, the hair like the baby hairs on this frontal i always have to keep making baby hairs and when i say about uh and what i mean when i say that so you do your baby hairs and you lay them right you put your got to be glued you do whatever you do you blow dry it whatever whatever you do you put it on and um like my baby hairs would disintegrate over time like so I would swoop them, I take off the wig, I spray with my spray bottle, I take off the wig, and I put it back on the next day, and I have to redo my baby hairs. The baby hairs are thin now. They're more thinner than, they're thinner the current day 
versus the previous day and I don't like that like why is it getting thin when I'm doing it but like anyway let's, let's look at this it looks good when you straighten it should be a style like straight bangs and the rest of it. Remember we used to do this when we was in high school, like a little straight bang and then the rest of it curly or whatever. But yeah, but um, more things about this hair. I do like OMG Queen as a company. I just ordered bundles from them because I wasn't really crazy about the wig, but I ordered closures from them before and then the hair is like, it is nice, it is soft. I don't like how in the back, it naped a lot, which made it shed a lot. Like I can go like this in the back and I get that. And I washed the hair and I deep conditioned it after I went in the in the water. So I don't know. But that's why I rate this hair a seven. So you guys saw a little bit that I straightened it. I'm gonna straighten one more piece and then we're gonna revert. Uh, we're gonna watch it revert back to curly. I was getting a little bit too much attention. That's why I was just like, okay, I'm going to curl it because I like attention, but like, you know, sometimes you get the wrong kind of attention. So, this is all the hair that I straight. Oh, no. I got some more. Um, lay down the front but here you can see what I'm talking about the edges always disintegrate because all of this had baby hairs and now it's nothing so I don't even try to make it anymore like I just keep it like that and yeah and I'm sure you guys my baby hairs a little bit told you I do light baby hairs just so you can not see this line of demarcation that's the only thing but Look, it waves back up all nice. And it looks exactly. Not exactly like. Um, not exactly like the old one, but. Alright, guys, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. It was all about my hair from OMG Queen. You guys saw that it straightens, you saw that it curls, you see that it nakes, you see that it does everything. So. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Especially subscribe so you can be part of this drama. Alright, y'all.